hi everyone and thanks for joining me today <clears throat> for a craft with me that is what we're going to do i'm sorry i didn't give you any notice that i was going to be online and do a live but sometimes the ones that we don't plan turn out to be the best ones in my opinion anyway so Oh, we are going to make some gorgeous vintage flowers. Very, 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 very super, super easy. In fact, very easy. You will not believe how easy they are to make. So, uh, uh, Charles, not now, sweetheart. Oh, my gosh, get down. Every time. Hi, Carol, honey. Every time I go to film, he... um. Oh. He, uh, right, share to group, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Chanel's little stampers and Charlie's angels craft, right. Okay, so hi, Carol. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. We are going to do something a little bit different. We're going to make some gorgeous paper flowers. They are just gorgeous, super, super easy. I'm going to get my thread ready while I'm waiting for a few of you. I hope that you are all well. Um, now, all you're going to need for this is um, some book pages, some twine of some sort, some buttons, and some distress ink. That is it. Super, super easy. Um, I was sat making these last night while I was watching the TV. Thank you for sharing. Um, oh, I will be doing a, um, oh my gosh, I will be doing a D, uh, D stash later with some yummy dyes. I'll be selling some dyes off really cheap as well. So don't forget to watch out for that. Um, right. Okay. We are going to make these gorgeous, gorgeous paper flowers. Where is Moira and Karen and everybody where are you all let's have a look right let's send these to sue belinda christine janet karen karen Ginny, vanda pat julie karen right there's a few more of you been added Okay, do you want to see how to make these gorgeous flowers? Look how yummy they are. They just look super yummy. And they're great to put on projects of all sorts, like cards or um, gift tags, boxes. You name it, just absolutely gorgeous. Look at these, aren't they yummy? So let me show you how we make these. They are just very, very easy to make. Um, right, so all you're going to need are some book pages um so i have this right get down from there right get down now oh you're gonna just set everything on the floor get down he is climbing up everywhere right okay so all we're gonna need let's move these out the way are some book pages so i've got this old book here And I've got some music paper. Oops, daisy. So you will need a couple of sheets of paper. And all we're going to do is just take a book page. And oops, that's going to go flying in a minute. Oh my gosh. And then what we need to do is you need to make a square. So you need to take this corner up to this corner like that. And what we're going to do is just cut this off to a square like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold this triangle in half. And then we're going to take this edge and fold it up here. And we're going to take this edge and fold it up to there. So you're left with kind of that. Okay. And then what you do is turn it on to this edge. And we're going to cut this into a petal shape. Like that. And then you end up with flowers. So I did it on big size. Now I don't want them that big. So what to do to make them a bit smaller is to actually take this and put this in half. 
I just did that just to really show you. So, and if you want to do two at the same time, put two bits of paper together. Hi, Lynette. Hi, Vanda. Hi, Sue. Hi, Karen. Um, so, right, we're going to take this. We're going to make this into a square like that. Cut this down to a square. Okay, we're going to fold this in half like that. And then you're going to take this corner up to here and this corner up to here. So you've got them three bits. And we're going to cut this into a petal shape. Now, I don't think I've quite mastered it properly yet like that and then you end up with your flowers like that now my flowers seem to turn out a demented shape but don't worry and then you can go even smaller to turn that into a triangle cut that like that we're going to cut that like that take this corner over to there and this corner over to there. And then you have your smaller flower. See, my flowers are demented shape and you can keep on going for as long as you want and just sit and do lots. Of, so I sat last night and did loads and loads of them you've got your three and then we're just going to cut this into a flower like that okay so just keep on cutting lots and lots and lots out hi Anne hi Moira all right let's get rid of these the big bits because they're not going to be rubbish um I've got some music paper here I'm just going to fold that in half, cut this down to a square, fold this triangle in half like that and then take this and fold it up like that and fold it up like that so we've got the three bits and then we're just going to, hi Linda May, like that. Oh, my flowers are really weird. Honestly, and you can go really small if you want. I'm just going to do that, cut that into a... Fold it. Fold this up. Fold this up. And then... Cut it into a little petal. And then you've got a small one. Mine are really weird shape i do not know i got them right last night let me see if i can do this again right in half in half practice with your petals because honestly i don't know what's going on see mine are quite squarish i don't know Hi Ginny, honey. Right, in half into a square. We're going to fold this in half. Oops, let's go the other way. Like that. Then take this corner. Like that. This corner like that. And we're just going to cut into a flower. So you'll end up with lots and lots of flowers like this. So I have cut lots and lots of flowers up. I was sat last night and I ended up with all of these. Look, didn't I do good? All these flowers I ended up with last night just from sitting, cutting papers. So what you're going to need to do then is pick several that go on top of each other. Do that one like that, that one like that, see if we've got a little one like that, and then let's put all these in there, and what we're going to do is we are going to ink them up 
distress them. You don't have to. This is entirely up to you if you want to distress them or not. Let me find a scrap piece of paper and just do it on here. And then all we're going to do is just take our distress ink. Oh, why am I not getting your messages? I need to start. Yeah, I did start with a square piece. I don't know. It's just me cutting my flowers. And then all we're going to do is just distress these flowers. Oops. These ones came out right. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing them wonky um, today. I don't know. And you can layer them up as much or as little as you want. Like so. And you can even, if you want, crunkle them up a little bit. And just do that to them. And that gives them a really lovely, crinkly sort of look to them. Like that. And then what we're going to do is take a button... These are just super adorable. Let me find a nice button. That one's too big. Ooh, oh, that one would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Oh, I've got it all wonky now. And I actually, I'll have a little go in a minute and see if... No, I don't like it. We can add a bit of lace in here or something and see what that looks like. Oh, that one's quite cute. Um, so then what you do is you take your needle and we're just going to go down like so. And I'm just using this thread that I have. I just want to make a little hole. Get off. Like that. And I'm going to go down again, like that, and then back up. Whoops, the daisy. Hi, Janet, honey. Like that. Cut that off. Tie this in a bow. Oh, I used way too much there, didn't I? And I just do like a double knot. Just wrap it around twice. Like that. I might see if we can add a little bit of scrappy lace to the next one. So, and there you go. There's your flower. And if you crinkle it up, it looks even more yummy. Right, so let's... Oh, look at my little cat buttons. Aren't they super cute? Right, let's do another one. And I'm going to see if I can add... Um, Maybe some fabric to this one. Actually, let me put that one there. And that one there. Let me just distress these. I am not getting your flipping messages unless I come out of it and go back in. Chanel, where do you get your buttons from? I've just got loads and loads from a long time ago, honey. I've just, I used to collect buttons and recently, well, a couple of months back, I sold so many of them. Um, I now just have a couple of jars full of them, but I get them from car boots and sometimes... You can get vintage ones um, off of eBay. I've bought some off eBay before. Um, yeah, I, to be honest with you, I haven't got as many as I used to. I'll show you. I've got all these, um, but they're quite big um, buttons. So this is my button collection now. And then I've got this full of buttons. And then I think I've got a couple of other bits as well. You should be able to do the same thing with a square of lace or tool. Yes, I'm going to have a go. Let me go and get some 
scrap fabricy bits and let's um let's have a little play oh. right see i've got this which has little bits and pieces in or i've got um let me just pull out this scrap thing bits and pieces here right we've got some little scrap pieces here oh that's pretty isn't it oh my gosh what if we was to do that and then a piece of how about this behind i think that's too much maybe too much too much trouble is this is all too white let me just make this a little bit more dirtier and let's put this behind here just peeking out and then you've got a little bit of lace and a little bit of thing there and the other thing you can do as well if you don't want to sew buttons on Wait a minute. You can, of course, use brads instead um, if you don't want to sew buttons on. I got a set of those daubers when I was in commons and when I haven't had a chance to play yet as I'm in the middle of editing John suddenly I have to pay my craft addiction oh bless right i've got some brads here um i do like these ones and i actually have some flower ones and oh this one's a nice one look at that one that one's really cute look at that brad oh, i think we're going to use that one right so what you can do of course instead of um sewing a button you can just poke a hole like so and stick the brad in instead oh she says don't move it right Oh, look at that, but that flower, it is just gorgeous. Oh my God, love it, love it, love it. And if we crinkle it all up a little bit, make it all a little bit. And then we just need it to curl up a little bit. And we've got a lovely, I want it more crinkled and crinkly. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? There you go. There's another really pretty flower there. So let's do that. And honestly, you can sit. I sit in the evening and just have a little um, session of Let's have a look. Let's do another one. Do that one. That one. And oh, that's a nice one in the middle. So let's do this one. Ink it all up. I just sit with a tray in the evening. And these do make projects look really yummy. We've all got old books somewhere, haven't we? And if you didn't want to do it with book pages, you can do it with like patterned paper instead or flower books or something a little bit different. Is that an illness, Karen? 
Oh, bleh. Soak your what? Did I miss something? Soak what? What were we on about soaking? Ah. Have I missed something? Don't fancy your not. Oh, mealworms for the birds. Oh, dear. Right, okay, we're getting sidetracked. I'm missing your comment. Oh, look at that one. See, that would be super lovely. In the middle. Let's do that and that. And maybe have a little bit of this coming off it as well. That's too white, isn't it? Very white. We don't want it so white. It's too white, I tell you. All right, let's put that there. And put that there. So that looks super pretty. And then, do we want a button or do we want a brad? I don't know. Oh, I've got buttons. Oh, that one's a pretty one. I like that one. That's super pretty. I like that. Lost me needle and thread. Where is it? Right. Right, I don't know what you guys are talking about because... <laughs> Oh, the last thing I caught was mealworms. Oh, bless. Right, okay, so we're going to put this button. That is a super cute button, actually. Yeah. Oh, we've got quite a few layers here to go through. I don't know if I'm... Succeeding, you sound. And these are great also to um, put in Happy Mail. By the way, um, our Rack Raid, the second one, has been picked up by my Hermes um, yesterday. So I'm hoping the recipient will get it um, today, tomorrow or Friday. So I can't wait for that to arrive. So who is going to receive it? There you go. But aren't these lovely? They're just super cute. Let me just move that to one side. They're just adorable. I'm going to do another just paper one. I quite like the just paper ones, to be honest. nice and big we're going to make this one lots and lots of layers this one I'm going to make this one super fluffy i mean what i actually do is i cut them all out then i ink them all up and then i'll sit and sew them well that's what i did last night anyway all those ones that i made so I'm going to be doing a um, de-stash video in a bit, in probably about an hour's time. I've just got to sort through some yummy tonic dyes and um, that that I am getting rid of. So um, watch this space. Never done vintage before. Watching your brilliant ideas and such inspiration. I hadn't really either, Linda May. Now I'm getting addicted. Oh, bless you. There is another side to me, you see. I do love my stamping up. Of course I do. But I had missed doing my vintage things. And you'd be surprised what you can do with an old book. Oh, my gosh. So many things that you can do with an old book. And I will show you lots, lots more. Right, so let's have a look and see. Let's find if we've got a nice button here. Oh, there's a nice little flower one. 
kind of want something dark. Nope. Ooh, we've got buttons stuck together here. Oh, that green one's nice. No, don't like it. Nope. Oh, well. Why is it so difficult to find the button we want? Oh, brown one. No, green one. Oh, I want a big button. Red. No. <laughs> Why is it so hard? I will find one in a minute that I like. I'm quite particular with my buttons, actually. Oh. No. Right, I'm going in for the last time. I asked Michael for old music books from the band room next time he visits. Oh, Oh, it is very relaxing making embellishments. I oh, that one's nice. That a nice red one. Oh, I don't know. Pink. Pink. That works. Right, we found one at last. At long last. We have found one I want. Right, get back to the matter at hand, Chanel. And I will also be doing some trash to treasure videos as well, which is going to be a lot of fun. So don't, you won't be, so after, after you've watched me for a few weeks, trust me, you won't be throwing anything away. You'll be like, oh, I can use that. Promise you. Right. Done. Flipping it. The hardest bit was picking a flipping button. I haven't used my silhouette in a while, so the kids now have their names on their school water bottles in silver and gold. Right. There we go. And crunkle, 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 screw it all up, and then you have, oh, that came apart. Now, if you do worry that the pages are going to come apart, um, like that one just did, what you can do is put a bit of washi tape or surgical tape on the back. We lost a layer, but never mind. But it still looks pretty. Okay, should we do one more? I think you've got the hang of it now, haven't you? We've got enough... Um, cord to do a few more. Right, let's have a look. Let's do. Let's do a nice big one this time. Oh, I have got some that I've inked up actually. Let's use some of these that I have already inked up. Oh, there's a nice big one. Oh, look, I found a little baby one there. And I think I'll link that one up just to make it extra big. Oh, right. And you can also stamp over um, these as well, you know, put some little script on there or something to give it a bit more detail. Right, so we're going to have that, that and that. We need a little button for this one. What about the little purple flower? There you go, we sorted it. We found one really quick and easy that time.
Oh, that went right in my finger. Right. I stabbed myself. Right, I don't know why your messages. Or oh, add a small circle of card to the back to stop it pulling through. Yes, you can. Like, do a little um, hole, little circle punch. And then, in all fairness, that's the first one that that's happened to out of all the ones that I've done. Um, but look at these, don't these look just super cute? Let me put my buttons back and I'll show you what we have done. Right. Oh, dropped that one on the floor. And that was a really pretty one as well. Oh, I don't know what that is, a washer. Oh, I found a little, little gorgeous flower one. So... As you can see, they are super quick and easy to make and they just look absolutely gorgeous on projects. Aren't they lovely? So another thing for you to do with your old book pages and they just really look lovely on... I, I mean, the thing I'm going to show you how to do is to never throw anything away. Um, this is a tag that came from Boohoo. Um, another one... And we're going to turn these, repurpose these. I actually have a, um, if I can find it, I actually have a, like a folder. Let me see if I can find it actually and I'll show you what I'm on about. Bear with me a minute. Oh, I do get sidetracked, don't I? Don't I get sidetracked very, very easily, guys. Right, bear with me. Let me see if I can find out and I'll show you what one of my next projects is is going to be if I can find it. Where are you, file folder? Oh, but I can't find it now. That I can't find it. Oh, bear with me. Oh, hang on a minute, guys. Right, I don't know what I've done with it. I had an idea of something I was going to do, but I can't find it. So, um, right, we'll skip that idea for now. Oh, I've got a folder full of repurposed things, but we will do that in another video. I don't know where it is right now. Right, don't worry. We will come to that another day. <sighs> right, I'm going to get ready because I've got um, these... Uh, dies to de-stash and I will be back in a bit oh in soft leather with a brooch pin on the back ideas are occurring I always save the cord ribbon off bra tags oh I know I usually go around all my clothes and take out the ribbons from it <laughs> I've never thought about saving them before but I will do from now on if I can find my file folder I will show you the kind of things that I've saved and show you some projects that we can make. Now, we would throw these in the bin, right? But we can decorate them and repurpose them. I mean, look, that's quite pretty, actually, if you covered over the boohoo and you grunged it all up and you put a few bits of something on the back of it. I mean, you could turn that into something really, really super um, gorgeous, really, if we could get this sticker off. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this sticker off. No. Right, we're going to leave that because we can't get that off. But, I mean, you know, you could quite easily just... Move on that bit. Let's get a bit of... Paper... Let's just stick that over there, get rid of that. Grunge this up a bit. Right, so we're going to stick that on there. We're going to grunge this up.
actually. We'll put that on the back of that. Um, oh, this is a glue that's not going to work. Of course it's not going to work because we're on camera, aren't we? Have to sort the washing, feed and walk the girls and sort the birds out. Oh my gosh. Someone's very busy with their wildlife and their, their fur babies. Oh. You do not want to come out, do you? Naughty glue. Right, I'll just stick that over there. Like that. We'll put a... Why don't we... No, that won't work. I'm thinking we could actually... Oh, I've just put my drawer away. Hang on. Right. Talking of repurposing, this was a scarf. Look, this was a scarf, and how gorgeous are these to save? This was just a scarf, and I have chopped it all up. So let's see what we can do with this. So I'm thinking we'll put a little bit of paper across there to cover up the boohoo, like that. What about a butterfly a word sticker across that? Oh, very good idea, actually. Could have put a word sticker across that, actually. And then, that's a very good idea. Come on, Willis. Um, where are my word stickers? Right, here we are. Wait a minute. Oh, gosh, which drawer are they in? For goodness sake, I can't find them for my jars. Where are they? Where are my words? Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, actually, let me look in my little... I've got a little file folder here with lots of bits and P. Oh, here they are. See, I knew I had my words somewhere. Cherish, beautiful, artistic. Admire. Right, let's have a look and see. Oops. Right, great idea putting a word across it. Whoa. I've got cherish, which I could take the red off. Couldn't I? I don't ever like the red on these stickers. Cherish. Charles, you can't get in that drawer. Right, pack it in. That would work great without the red. You've got your fabric. Stick glue, stick to paper and want flowers. Right, so let's put that there. I want a bit of lace on there as well or something and then see that looks quite pretty but I think that's a bit too much isn't it right Charles <laughs> he's just being a little so and so what colour do we have oh. right we've got pink and I'm looking for a little bit of something to go on the bottom of that. A little bit of lace. Oh, yeah, it could 
have stuck a flower on there. Too big. The flowers are too big. Right, Chanel, what are you doing? I've got one in a tizzy now. Oh, I hate oven cleaning. Who's talking about oven cleaning? Oh my gosh. That is probably my worst job in the world, is cleaning my oven. Oh my gosh. Charles, can you not just behave for once? Can you hear him trying to get into drawers? Charles! <laughs> He's trying to get into drawers that he should not be in. Oh, I've done that the wrong way around. Right. Oh, he's in the box now. I actually don't like that top bit of that lace anyway. Just going to stick that over there. Can you hear him trying to get in the box? Hi, Jill, honey. Right. Dirty that up a little bit. We are going to use some of this sorry silk or whatever it is. Cut a bit of this. I don't know what happened here. Got myself in the right tears. Oh. Right, okay. We're going to get there in a minute. We'll get there in a minute. Right. There you go. So look, that's a boohoo tag. Now turned into a cherish tag. And how quick and easy is that to make a, a tag? It would have been even quicker if I wasn't dithering around so much. Um, but how gorgeous is that? Them in there. Right. <laughs> Charles, it's so noisy here because Charles is being a dimwit. But yes, so repurpose things. Don't throw anything away. Um, trust me, everything can be used to some, you know, way. We can just make it all look beautiful. But look at that. I mean, look at this scarf i just love it omg charles and look this was just a scarf so if i was to go look i've just had an idea so i'm gonna cut this bit this bit this bit this bit And where is it? Right. Now that leaves us this gorgeous little bit. Now, see that there? You could have that dangling. Oh my gosh, I love it. And even put a brad or something. Oh my gosh, I love that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. My creative juices are flowing. Right, let me. Oh, we need a little one. So I've got just a little tiny brad. And let's get me pokey tool. And I'm just going to literally poke a hole through the middle. Oh gosh. That wasn't very successful. I'm bunch me flower up. That wasn't very good. Right. Now where's me Brad gone? Let's see if I can do this. Oh, get in there. Right. Put that through there. And then 
see and then you've got your lovely gorgeous dangly flower bit just dangling off of your tag so lots of different ways so look there you go doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous just love it right okay i'm going to go sort my dies out otherwise i'm never going to be back it's half 11 i will be back at half 12 with a d stash once i've cleared up my desk and um sorted my bits out right okay um i hope you'll join me in a bit for a d stash session um and then we can do some more crafting maybe this afternoon right love you guys see you all in a bit um thank you all for joining me oh bless you and i'll see you in an hour so take care for now love you guys bye